life info, talks during cinema movies, bitch please. If I have someone sitting next to me and I'm at the movie and they on the phone, you know that I'm gonna turn to them and be like, bitch, can you turn off your motherfucking phone? And then I'll turn back to my movie and enjoy the rest of it. Hey you guys! What's up? It's Master C and welcome to a game called The Aftermath. So in this game, I get to play as the highest power and determine whether these people, based on what they have done in their life, whether they go to heaven or whether they go to hell. So I don't want this video to be super religious, so we're just going to jump on in. Uh, if I make some bad choices here or there, then whatever. But I don't know if there's an end to this game. I've never played it, never seen it played, so let's see what it is all about. All I know from the previews is that it is kind of similar to Papers, Please, but this is the hell, Heaven or Hell version. So let's see. Huge Bodrock from Portugal, female, huge, age 30. Uh, she's into Satan, hello, and she likes to cook. Ooh, can she cook me that good food, though? I'm craving some lasagna, y'all. Life info. Stole money from an old lady and drinks blood for fun. Well, it sounds like you would perfectly fit into hell. So let's go ahead and send you over there. You have fun. Bye-bye now. Who is next? Sakura Cardigan. I like your last name. It's like a, a sweet shirt, maybe? Uh, from Swaziland. I don't know where that country is. Female, 85. God damn, girl. She likes role-playing games. Hell yeah, if she's all about that Zelda life, you know she going to hell. I mean, have it, excuse me. It's anti-heterosexual. So she likes homosexuals, which I am, and that's kind of good. But I don't like anyone that's anti-anything. She won the National Lottery twice. She's, that's pretty lucky. Farts and cars. Come on, Sakura. Who the hell is going to fart in cars? No, 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 I can't do it. She's too nice, y'all. I got to send her to heaven. Sakura, you like role-playing games, so you get to go to heaven. That's all it takes, I guess, for me, is if you like role-playing games. Sandra Chun from Nicaragua. Chun is very much an Asian name, but we'll let it slide. Female. Oh, she's young at 16. What does she do to die? Did she get into a car accident? Passions are tennis and gymnastics. Those are good things. Life info. Talks during cinema movies. Bitch, please. If I have someone sitting next to me and I'm at the movie and they on the phone, you know that I'm going to turn to them and be like, Bitch, can you turn off your motherfucking phone? And then I'll turn back to my movie and enjoy the rest of it. She lost uh, their ring two days after the wedding. Girl, you need to get your life. Get your life. But you know what? Those aren't bad. You can go to heaven. I'll let it slide this time. But Sakura, you got to watch your back. A cane burner from Australia, female, age 50. Her passions are archery and gymnastics. Wow, she has a lot of life info. Adds Reno Jackson to all their Hearthstone decks. I don't know what the fuck that means because I don't play Hearthstones. Always takes the last pizza slice without asking. Bitch, no, 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 no. Now, what if I was hungry and I wanted that last pizza slice and I paid? Who paid for this pizza, first of all? Was it me? Was it her? If she paid, fine. If I paid, fuck no. Has inherited mental disorders from her parents. See, now that's something that I find super difficult to deal with. So let's go ahead and send her to heaven. She's had it tough enough already. You know what? You can have that last pizza pizza. Okay? Okay. What's next? Jacob Van Helsing. From Slovenia. Male 14. How did you die? You're only 14. Uh, likes card games. Good. Murdered his wife, whom was suspected of abusing their child. Okay, okay, so, first of all, you're 14 and you have a wife and a child. Something's wrong with that picture. Uh, you need to wait till you're a little bit older, and then maybe you all would be, like, adults, and you could actually raise this child properly. But you don't murder your wife if they abuse your child. That's a big no-no. Stole money from an old lady? No, that's, that's, that's the end of the line, dude. Jacob, I'm sorry, but you have been sent to hell. Who's next? Scott Larson from Ireland. Male, age 87. Oh, he's getting up there. Passions are poker, horseback riding, and rope skipping. How the hell does he like rope skipping at 87? Ain't he gonna break a hip? Life, life info. Lost their ring two days after the wedding. Okay, we've been through this. Whatever. It happens. Robbed a bank. Okay. 
and has three daughters and one son. See, I think robbing a bank is not enough to send a person to hell. So, Scott, you're lucky, but you better watch your ass next time, and you better play it smarter. Daisuke Debano from Netherlands. Male, only 13, holy cow. He likes playing piano and basketball. Is a professional procrastinator. Now that is me completely. Like for these videos and for my schoolwork and all that stuff, I wait until like the last second. But I'm trying to get better, y'all. I'm trying to record these more in advance and edit them so they can be up on time. Okay, life info. Lost their ring two days after the wedding. Again, why the hell are you getting married at such a young age? Unless maybe it's an arranged marriage, which I know happens in some cultures. But I'm not sure about the Netherlands. So we'll let that one slide for now. Regularly empties the fridge through midnight snacks. That's fine. Everyone likes their midnight snacks. Daisuke, you can enjoy your time in heaven. Enjoy. Who do we have next? Thomas Cardigan. Didn't we already do a cardigan? Are they related to each other? Male, 66 from Romania. Like bicycle riding and chess is very respectful to the environment. You sound like an outstanding citizen, sir. So you are more than welcome to go to heaven. Sandra Dor I can't say that name. From Colombia, female, age 63. Likes baseball and football. Hell yeah, I played baseball for about 14 years, so that's a thumbs up. And who the hell doesn't like watching football? At least the American football. I'm all about that NFL. Now, football, football. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I, I watch it sometimes, but being in the US is not as big as where it is around the world. I understand it's like the biggest sport in the world. Life info, never says thank you. Bitch, now if I open that door for you and you don't say thank you as you walk past, you know that I'm giving you dirty looks the entire time that I'm walking behind you. So you best say thank you. And never gave their bus seat to the elderly. Come on, how selfish you gotta be to do that? And you robbed a bank? Oh, Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. You had just made the ultimate mistake. You will burn in hell. Have fun with Satan. Linus Gonzalez from Swaziland. Male, ooh, 97. Ooh, Linus, you got up there. He likes cooking, is racist. Now, the older generation, they were super racist. Well, most of them. So I'm gonna let that one slide for now. I personally hate racism. Not a fan, should not be racist at all. It's all about equality nowadays. Spits in others' drinks. Now, what if I was going to have my cup of coffee, which I have right here, and this motherfucker came through and just spit into my drink? I would be pissed. So that is one strike for him. He robbed a bank as well? Ooh, Linus, you are right on the edge. Do I do heaven? Do I do hell? You know what? I think for how old he is, he could have done a lot worse of stuff, so worse of stuff. I speak of that good English, y'all. So we're gonna send him over to heaven. Linus, you better watch your you better watch your back though. Alright, Nick Anderson, what you got? You're from the United Arab The United Arab Emirates, male age 63. You like collecting stamps and rope skipping. Okay, once again you're kinda old for rope skipping, but we'll let it go. Play second in a rally championship. I don't even know what the hell that word is. Rally. And has a cancer. I'm pretty sure you mean has cancer, but this might have been written by someone who doesn't have English as their primary language. So you are lucky, Mr. Nicholas, because you have had a good life, so you can enjoy your time in heaven. We'll do a couple more, y'all. Huge Wendell, welcome back from Tonga. This is a different one. Female, age 70. She likes puzzle solving and climbing. Now, who the hell doesn't like to solve puzzles? Uh, hello, Zelda, all about those puzzles. And actually, real puzzles in life where you gotta do the jigsaws and you gotta you gotta figure out where the hell they go to figure out the, the puzzle. I love that shit. She also likes climbing. Rock climbing is cool as well. Life info. Talks during cinema movies. Bitch, shut the fuck up. What else? It's a drug addict. Girl, did you fall in with the wrong crowd or did you purposely plan that shit? Because that will have a big determination. Always kills bugs. Psh, kill those bugs all I want. Except for the nice ones like praying mantises and shit because those things are fucking amazing. And their family was really poor. 
You know what, Huge? You have had a good life. You can rest in peace in heaven. So take that. Isabel Di Cintio from Malaysia, female, age 97. Her passions are basketball, rope skipping, and learning languages, all very positive. The more languages you can speak, the more people you can talk to, the more friends you can have. Life info, she drinks blood for fun. That's not a good sign. That's that's kind of a sign that she worships Satan. Is hugely talkative. Well, yeah, if she learns 7,000 languages, of course. She has a dozen failed suicide attempts. Now, this is a super sensitive topic. I don't want to get into it too much. Um... But that means that she has had, as you can see, has inherited mental disorders from their parents. So mental disorders often lead to the suicide attempts because it's just, you can't handle that suffering anymore. So I am gonna let that skip. Most people, not most people, but some people would say that that is very selfish. And in a way it is, but also you have to think about that person. So I am going to let you go to heaven because you have had a rough go of it. And let's do one more. Who do we have? Nick Edinson from Malaysia. Male, age 13. Tennis and game development. Hell yeah, he likes to make games. Ooh, immediately up 10 points right there. Spits in other people's drinks. Down 5 points right there. Couldn't go to school young. Uh, maybe it was money. Maybe he was living in a different country where they didn't have school like that. And took drugs. Now how much drugs did you take? Did you take a lot? Did you take a little? Did you get hooked on him? Did you not? You know what? Nick Edison, you were a baby when you died, so let's send you over to heaven. Okie dokie. Uh, you know what? Let's actually go to 15. Let's do that. Jasmine Schkitzkol from Uzbekistan. Female, age 98. She likes learning languages. Once again, most excellent. Life info. Couldn't go to school young and helped 80 prisoners escape from jail. Jasmine, hell no. A I, I could take maybe one or two, but 80? That is just redonkulous. So, that's enough for that. So, if I press quit, is that going to tell me how I did? Or is that just going to quit the game? Let's find out, y'all. Just one last sheet. Is this me? Intern number 7724. Country unknown. Gender male. Age 31. I'm not 31. Bitch, you trying to add extra years to my life? I mean, I know my hairline is receding and stuff, and I'm starting to get those wrinkles, but... God damn, I ain't 31 yet. Passions are games. Hell yeah! Oh, you got that on point. Sent four people to hell, sent 11 people to heaven. I feel like I was just in all of my decisions, and I feel like I should go to heaven. And that's it. The game just completely shut out, and that's the end of the aftermath. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here for the aftermath. That was a nice little game. That's a nice way to start the morning. I had a lot of fun recording that. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the commentary there let me know what you guys thought would you have sent them to heaven would you have sent them to hell go play this game it's on game jolt it is absolutely free it takes about five seconds to download so make sure that you go play it give it lots of thumbs up if you enjoyed my video of it give me some thumbs up because i really want to feel that love today but once again this is nasty C. it's a wrap I love you guys i'll see you all in my next video with a big peace out